Hey, it's Mike, and today I've been asked to do this tutorial on how to open a door with your mouse. So, mouse drag, door open. So, if I go up to this door and open it, I can use my mouse left and right to open it, open the door. And not only will I cover how to do this, but we're going to look at how to constrain the door to certain angles so that it doesn't go 360 degrees all the way around. Uh, so stay tuned and we're going to cover how to set this up from scratch. So I'm here in an empty scene. I've got nothing here. Uh, but first of all, before we can open a door, we need a door to open. So let's go to the asset store and we can find ourselves a door. So here in the asset store, we have from Unity uh, this pack called Interior House Assets for URP. Uh, I'm in a URP project, so I'm going to use this. This uh, It's free, so just add it to your assets, and you can open it in Unity. So we just need to import that into Unity. And it, as you can see, it has a door object in there that we can use. So we go to the Package Manager, and Interior House Assets, you can import it. Uh, mine's already in, the, in my project, so uh, we're good to go. So... What I'm going to do first is we're going to create a just a plane, a larger plane to put our scene on. So we'll just put like a five by five plane at the origin, five by five, and then we're going to bring in our under Unity Technologies the basic asset pack interior. Let's bring in a prefab. It's in the walls category. So they have this wall door. They have a two meter one and they have a wall door frame. That's just the frame. So we need the wall door two, two meters and bring that into our scene. And you'll see with this one, it has a separate door and if you set the make sure this is set to pivot and not center because otherwise you won't it won't rotate properly but if you set it to pivot you can actually rotate this opening you can open the, the door with the rotate tool so that, that this is what we want because we want to just be able to rotate this at runtime and if it's the pivot has to be set properly to the left side of the door that you, or the side that you want to rotate open. So if whatever door you're using has a pivot in the center, you might need to move the pivot by creating, you can do that by creating a parent object, an apparent empty object and have the pivot located there. And then you just rotate the parent object and it would, uh, it would rotate the, the door properly. Uh, so the other thing I'm going to do is just unpack this so that uh, we can add things to it and then so we need our player so let's create the player and we are going to use just the default player there we go and then we need a camera shot and this one for mouse dragging things you need to use a camera shot that is doesn't move around with the mouse so like a fixed position or a follow target will work so follow target i'm going to use and we are going to just move that door so that it's in front of the player so that when we walk around, it's just going to follow the player up to the door. So up we go. And of course, right now, we're just going to go right through it. Because this door does not come with any colliders. So uh, what we need to do is put a mesh collider on this door. So we can put it on here. We can add a mesh collider, but not do not do convex because if you do convex it'll put it'll do the collider right through the hole in the door as well 
and we need a collider on the door itself so if we look at the we'll put one on the door itself so we cannot go through the door So now we can just go right up to it and we're not going to go through it. So, But if we open the door, we should be able to go through. So we want to just open this door, say minus 180. Oops, minus 180 is good now. Minus 90. And then we can, should be able to go through this door. Oh, no, we cannot, see? So this is a problem sometimes where, we, where it's caused by the player's collider being too big, like to the, the height of your collider. The height is set to two. Uh, I find that it's too high, so if we go 1.7, it's more closer to the character size. Let's we'll see if we can go through the door now. And then we just go 90 degrees. We can go through the door now. So that, that's one trick with doors. If you can't go through a door, or if you get stuck going through a door, look for the, the size of the character. And then there was some other issue where I had where you're going up, and if you touch it at a certain point, it may you might snap up into the other part of the door, like get stuck in the door. So just do testing around that. But if you get stuck in the door, you might have to add an extra collider somewhere that where one was missing. So now that we got our door set up that we can actually go through it, uh, now we need to look at how do we open the door with our mouse using Game Creator 2. So I'm going to do is we're going to go to the hub this is something that's in the game creator hub so let's go to game creator hub and see what they have here um, just type in drag so we have this action that's in the hub right now called drag to rotate door uh, so what you want to do is you install there'll be an install button i already have it in my project but if you click install it will install it to your project so then this action will now be available to you so that's what we need to open that door so let's set up uh, a trigger so that we can open the door uh, i think you can just put it on any empty object so trigger door for instance and we'll create a trigger and here's what we want for input we want on input button the button we want to put mouse while pressing so we want the mouse while pressing uh, event and the left button so we're going to do that so while the mouse is pressing and we can also add a minimum distance to as well uh, but because we're on a different trigger that won't work correctly uh, so if you want to use min distance then you want to put the trigger on the actual door itself so if I do that, I can put it right here. So if I have the trigger and then I'll reset the position and then you'll see it's over here now. So it's on the actual door and we can just modify that a little bit so that if you want it to be so that the character is a minimum distance from the, the middle of the door so we can do that and a radius of two and I find a radius of two is pretty good you can set it to one but some I find that sometimes it's one doesn't work very well so maybe 1.5 we'll try and then we will put in our new um, drag uh, uh, drag to rotate door action so we have the, the door so we give it the door that we want to rotate and that would be we'll just we'll drag this this door so we drag that and the rotation speed uh the five is the, is going to be super slow so maybe we, we want to try a hundred 
and see how that and see how that works. And we are going to test this out and see what we have. So now, like, we can't drag it yet, but if we go up, up to it, now we can open it with the mouse left and right is how we do it. But the, the only problem with this, and it, it, the door actually collides with the player, which is good, and, but the only problem with this is you can keep dragging it 360 degrees all the way around, which is not how doors behave in real life. And of course, we can't do it now because the door is invisible. But uh, once it's visible and you're close enough to it, you can drag it. But uh, yeah, what we want to do is constrain that to a specific angle. So here's how we do that. What we want to do is add a variable to this to this game object, a local name variable, not this variable, a local name variable. We'll call it rotation. And it's going to be a vector three. So yeah, we want it to be a vector three. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to save this. We're going to need another action from the hub called, if we type in rotation, we want store game object rotation. It stores a game object rotation. So install that. And then we're going to use that in our instructions here, the store game object rotation. So we're going to store the rotation of the door, the same door that we're rotating to variable, local name variable. And that's going to be this one and the rotation variable. So it'll store it in here. So let's just take a look at, at, at what the values are that it's putting in there. So let's see, we're just looking at this uh, rotation. What is, it, what is it doing? So I go up the door and rotate it. It's rotating the Y variable of that vector three. So we want it to be constrained. So let's constrain it to something like 280 down to 75 or so if you go too far it'll it'll go too far so we don't want it to go too far it'll start going through the geometry if you do that so maybe we'll use uh, 90 we could do 90 degrees to 280 so let's do that so now we want to constrain that so to do that we want the clamp function. So there's a clamp function that we can use. And we're going to set, uh, and we want to use a vector three property. So you, these reflection properties allow you to set your vector twos or your vector three. So the property that we want to set is in the door, the transform of the door and it gives you access to all the different properties. So Euler angles is the rotation. So set the Euler angles and then the, that to be equal to the value of the local name variable. So we have this one and that's the rotation. And now the minimum and maximum is what we want to set. So let's put zero for X zero for Z because we're only rotating in Y and we use the numbers that we had decided on before so we want to go from was it 90 degrees to 280 I think it was so let's try that out and see what that does so we'll go up to the door see how it just it clamp, it's doing it the wrong way. <laughs> so let's see, 230. This is the tricky part of it, right? So it was, I think five before. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to five 
Okay, I'm gonna set this to 180. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Then what's the door rotating to? 141. That's the minus 180, but we want it to. That's five. So we want we really want it to rotate according to this door. So, but it's the rotation values are not the same. See, at runtime they're different. So what we want to do. Ninety to five. Ninety to five. So that works. So this is what you have to do. You have to create a parent object to your door, an empty game object, and rotate that game object up to a number so that when you rotate this door, it's always positive, the rotation of the range that you want. So then you can set the range based on this particular number. So if I want to open it both ways, I can do it, or you can only open it one way. And you want to put your trigger and your rotation, all the logic and the local area, everything, just put it on this door parent and make sure you set the door parent as the one that's being uh, rotated. So uh, five gives me, gives me like right about there. 90 gives me like it's basically closed and then uh, if I wanted to open it the other way we'd want to go with let's say 150 let's do 150 so that should allow me to open the door both ways So it's still open, but uh, <laughs> I left it open. Let's see, put it back to 90, just to, so it's closed. So now I should be able to open it this way, all the way up to five, and then all the way up to 150, just big enough to get through the door. So you can play around with these parameters. Uh, the, the clamp thing is a little bit tricky when it comes to that. It does not like negative numbers. So you want to have a positive rotation. So that's why we created this door parent object. And we're rotating this door parent instead of the actual door. And then because the door parent is rotated at 90 degrees, I ha you have to offset that rotation by negative 90 in the actual object that you, you just parented it to so and then the rest of them are fine but this parent door object is now not minus 90 just because I had to make this range to be positive so that we never go into the negatives when we're going opening and closing the door so that's how you do this uh, a little bit tricky with the clamping if you don't need the clamping you can always uh, just let it let them open it as far as they want but to be more realistic you definitely want to clamp that rotation and uh, so that's how it's done uh, if you like this video like subscribe comment down below and we'll see you in the next one